What's up guys, The Penfence here and welcome to episode 1, or episode 0 perhaps, of the best team in FIFA. If you guys remember throughout FIFA 15 and FIFA 16 we ran a series called The Best Team in FIFA where I took your guys' teams, played with them and let you know what I thought. Well, we're going to be back today and to start things off I'm going to be building my best current team, I guess playing a game with it, having a look at formations, tactics and chem styles and then going forwards if you guys want to submit to me your favourite team so far this year, doesn't matter what value it is, it could be 10k, it could be a 10 million coin team, as long as you played with it and are under the impression that it's a good team, I'll take a look at it, I'll play with it, maybe throw it into a video. So. To start things off, the formation I'm going with is the 4-3-1-2. What we're going to do is we're going to set the player instructions. Oh, you can't set them when there's no players in there. That's quite disappointing. Um, I'll set the player instructions after the team then. So on the bench, we've got a few players that I haven't... Some of them I haven't used yet, and some of them are just pack pool players that I've, uh, I've got there. Some of them are going to be players that I'll use in future teams. We've got Alex Hunter scored 11 goals in six games for me. Jonas uh, has just a few, you know, a few sub-appearances, not even some starts. Giovinco, I don't believe I've played with yet. Again, a few sub-appearances. Ben Arthur and Dembele won to watch cards, both of them pack pulled. I went and bought Luis Suarez last night for about a half a million coins. He will eventually be in this team once uh, a different player is out of it. We'll go through that in a second. Raheem Sterling, this card just looks uh, like the card itself. Forget the stats. The card is actually just amazing. Um, we get Mtiti and Mane again, one to watch cards, both pack pulled. Uh, Pogba and Felipe Luis loan uh, informs, and then Mbolo. This guy has a bit of a special place in my uh, in my bench, I guess, because I got this guy out of a two-player upgradable pack. He is untradeable, but he is a one to watch card, so he's actually going to go on the bench. Uh, we'll throw him on there instead of Ben Arthur because uh, like he's going to be one of those players that I hopefully just use a lot as a sub or whatever. But anyway, that's a bench. Bench isn't really too important. Um, in, in net, we have got our first player of the team is Manuel Neuer. I paid 178,000 coins for Neuer. I don't really know how much he goes for now. I'm probably going to lose an absolute crap ton of uh, coins on these players throughout the year. But Manuel Neuer starts us in there. Then in at right back, guys, we've got Hector Bellerin. Of course, Bellerin, 95 pace, 74 defending. His physical's not great, but I've experienced... I've played with him a lot on my Road to Glory account. Second channel, link down below if you want that. Um, I played with him a lot on my Road to Glory account, and I absolutely love him. Some people, I've seen some of the, the better players in FIFA, the, the pro players and stuff, say that they still prefer Walker to Bellerin. Um, but for me, Hector Bellerin is the main man. And then in the left-hand side of the fence, we have got David Alaba, again, a ridiculous card. 86 pace, 83 dribbling, 83 defending, 81 physical and 7... Sorry, 81 passing and 73 physical. We'll go through the chem styles after we built the team. In defence, two centre-backs coming in here. We have got Jerome Boateng and Rio Ferdinand. Now, I've, as soon as I saw Ferdinand's card, I was interested. I wanted to play with him. I bought him late last night. One popped up on the market for 640. It's just a ridiculous card. Six foot four, medium, medium, three star, three star, which is crazy for a centre back. 81 pace and 90 defending. It's just astonishing. And then you look at Jerome Boateng, 79 pace, 90 defending, 85 physical, medium, medium as well, four star weak foot. They actually have like relatively similar stats. Ferdinand has two more pace and one more physical, where uh, Boateng has better shooting, passing, and negligible better dribbling. But they are like near identical centre backs, and I quite enjoy that. And that guy's, that guy's right there is my defence. So in terms of the chem styles for the defence, we've got Manuel Neuer. I actually opted to keep him on basic because his stats are so good anyway that a basic chem style will give a nice rounded boost to the card and put his diving up to like... Well, we don't know what the, the goalkeeper stuff does because it's only for outfield players that EA release chemistry information. But assuming the same kind of uh, stats as the basic on players... You're looking at like maybe 91, 92 diving, 92 handling, 97 kicking, 91 reflexes, 93 positioning. So about, about a two or three point upgrade across the board, which just makes him a retarded goalkeeper. In at right back, Hector Bellerin, he doesn't need pace. So uh, for the chem styles, for me personally, I would probably give him, like his physical's quite low. I like, I like my fullbacks get involved in the game a lot, right? So dribbling, passing, things like that are quite important. So for me, it would be something like Maybe artist because his defending is quite good. Or if there's something with like, well, pace, dribbling, and passing is quite good as well. Pace, defending, and physical wouldn't be bad. Or defending, physical, and passing wouldn't be bad. So we're going to give Bellerin backbone. Um, a nice boost to his defending, a nice boost to his passing, a nice boost to his physical. And just make him a 70 rated player in every area minimum apart from shooting. So that's what Hector Bellerin gets. Now with Rio Ferdinand, 
there's not really that much you, you're going to want to do. He's already got great pace and defending and physical. So I guess an anchor for Rio Ferdinand would be ideal. Just boost all those three key stats up. Don't worry about dribbling, shooting and passing. It's not really what he's in the team for. And Jerome Boateng, exactly the same. Improve those three key stats, pace, defending and physical. And then with David Alaba, I think I've done the same actually. Yeah, again, anchor with David Alaba. Just improve that pace, defending and physical. His dribbling and passing is so good for a left back anyway, as is his shooting. But it doesn't really make any difference. So that kind of makes him the complete player. So we've got three anchors and one backbone. Now in midfield, my midfield is very, very nice. We start off with Renato Sanchez. I have been using um, Vidal here, but I now have the one to watch Renato Sanchez card pack pulled. I have played with the regular Renato Sanchez card, although it's identical to this one, I understand that. And I do love it. Um, the reason why I was using Vidal is because Vidal just generally has a better well-rounded card, but because this uh, Renato Sanchez card is a special version. I've got him in there. The next midfield that we have got going on is our first legend, and it is Stefan Effenberg. Now, Stefan Effenberg has got a ridiculous card. 80 dribbling, 82 shooting, 82 passing, 85 physical. Four-star, three-star, medium-high, six-foot-two, which is ideal for a central centre midfielder. And we've given him shadow to boost his pace and defending, which should pretty much make him a club 80 player after the Ken Boost comes in. So Stefan Effenberg goes into midfield there. And then last but not least, our second legend of the uh, of the team is Emmanuel Petit. Now, I was playing Modric here um, and Carver Howard right back, but I've had enough coins now to buy Petit. I haven't used Petit yet. I literally just bought him last night for 610k. He has Catalyst on him, um, pace and passing, and I'm not too opposed to keeping that there. His defending and physical is really nice for a centre mid. He's 6'1", high, high. So we don't really need to improve that too much. His shooting is decent for a centre mid. Um, his pace does need a bit of boosting, as does his passing for a centre midfielder. And then with Renato Sanchez, this is another one where I'm actually happy to keep him on basic. Getting a well-rounded boost, in my opinion, is quite good. The only thing I would potentially give him is Maestro. Boosted dribbling, shooting and passing, which actually will do. We'll give him the Maestro card. His pace, defending and physical are really good for a centre midfielder. And what I love about this midfield is it's big, bulky... High, high work rates all over the place. Good defending, good physical from all three uh, midfielders. Medium high for Effenberg. High, high for Petit. It's just a great defensive-minded midfield. So that is our midfield, guys. I said first legend with Effenberg, didn't I? He isn't. Obviously, Ferdinand was our first legend. So three legends in the team so far. Now, in a cam, we are using uh, Del Piero Lone. I haven't used him yet, but I am intrigued to use him. I have been playing with James Rodriguez here. And he was amazing. But Del Piero's stats are better than Rodriguez. Five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. I've given him the engine chemistry style, pace dribbling and passing. Because his shooting is so good and his defending is so bad. That it's kind of like, you know, why bother changing that? So Del Piero goes in at that camp spot. And once his loan runs out, that is then when Luis Suarez will come up and go into that camp spot. Suarez has less pace, a bit more shooting, less passing, less dribbling and a bit more physical. Uh, Del Piero clearly the better player here out of the two. Um, but Luis Suarez, for me, will be sitting in that camp spot. And the reason why is because his passing is decent at 79. When you compare it to the other midfielders, uh, you know, 80 of Petit, 82 of Effenberg, and 70 of um, Renato Sanchez, he's, he's in the mix as a passer. So as a cam, he won't be too bad. But his shooting, my cam gets involved a lot, which is why I love James Rodriguez. So his shooting is going to be really important to the team in at that camp spot. Up in the first striker spot, guys, we have got... Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, left forward seven chem, but he still gets uh, a good chem boost. And then the other striker that we've got, guys, is one of my favorite players in real football, in world football, in FIFA every year. It's Gareth Bale. Now, interestingly, Gareth Bale hasn't been doing great for me. Four games, one goal, one assist. I've not overly enjoyed him, and I don't know why. I can't figure it out. But Cristiano Ronaldo has been amazing. Four games, nine goals, one assist. So uh, it, might, it might well be because of the chemistry the the hunter is the difference so what we're going to do today is we're going to apply the hunter chem style to gareth bale uh what is the suggested to go on being the suggested for me no it's not there yeah we're going to apply hunter chem style to gareth bale we're going to put him and ronaldo both with that um with that hunter chem boost that pace boost that shooting not that gareth bale necessarily needs a pace boost um, but it at the same time can't really hurt, can it? You know, he's only going to get one of the chevrons, so it's not going to be a huge boost. And that, guys, is the starting 11. Now, what we're going to do is the player instructions, uh, player instructions here. So I want my fullbacks always to stay back while attacking because no matter what you set them to, they still bomb forward sometimes if you ask them to. So stay back while attacking for the whole defense. 
We want Effenberg to stay back while attacking and conservative interceptions because I just want him to literally to just drop off. I don't want him to press at all. Effenberg stays back while attacking. Renato Sanchez is all balanced. Emmanuel Petit is all balanced. And the reason why I keep them balanced is because high, high work rate, see them up and down anyway. In with Del Piero, we want him to stay forwards. We don't want him to come back at all. Um, we, we're happy with the rest of those. And then for the two strikers, you want them to get in behind and stay central. So get in behind, stay central, happy days. And with Gareth Bale, get in behind and stay central, happy days. And that, guys, is a team. I haven't used um, custom tactics yet. Uh, I, I don't want to dabble with it until I really understand what they are. The only thing that I will do is change the defender line from offside trap to cover because you don't want your defensive line to keep stepping up. You want them to sit back. The rest of it I'm just going to leave as default for now and I will change it once I get to play with it at later dates. But this, guys, is the team. Let's get into a game. Okay, guys, our opponent for today has got a 180 team. He has got the dream Raheem Sterling. He has also got the one to watch Mbolo, Konoplyanka, Renato Sanchez, Barkley and Deli Ali, Rudiger, uh, I'm not sure, is that Tar at the other centre-back? His, his attack, his, his kind of team goes in stages of his attack is amazing, his midfield is good and his defence is quite average. So I'll be very disappointed if I didn't pick up a couple of goals and potentially a win in this game. I didn't get a, a chance to take a look at his chem styles, which are important to, to note this year, you know. If you see someone who's like an average striker, like Lucas Perez with 78 pace, but he's got a hunter card, you know he's actually got closer to 90 pace than, uh, than 70 or 80 pace. So it's always important to check the chem styles. I wasn't able to do so this time around. But let's get into the game, guys. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up a win, pick up some goals and uh, get some nice play. And we start off with Cristiano Ronaldo, lovely stuff, into the uh, one to watch Renato Sanchez. This game's really like, like framey. Um, it's not your video, do not adjust your uh, your computer screen or anything like that. It's just a really framey game. We've already got a good opportunity. The ball goes in, it's gonna fall on the edge. Of wow, this, it's not it's not lag, but it is lag. It's like, it's like motion lag rather than anything else. I've, I've experienced a little bit of lag on the game over the last few days, but nothing quite like this like this is really hard to play it's, it's like hurting my eyes to watch how the game's playing so it's, like, it's like, i get motion sickness right so uh it, it doesn't happen often but i do get motion sickness from time to time specifically when i'm not in control uh, like if i'm in a taxi in, in or something i'll get motion sickness if i'm driving it's, it doesn't really bother me um but yeah this is this is this is hard if, it, if it's hard for me to look at it must be hard for you to look at, but uh, oh, that was uh, that was actually for Gareth Bale. Ronaldo's going to uh, come away with the ball as is Del Piero into Emmanuel Petit and Gareth Bale was there to do nothing with that. Oh, my boy's got some techers here with Konoplyanka. That's Bellerin running in, steaming in, and he's uh, left his place open now. So Mbolo, Mbolo has got nothing on Rio Ferdinand as to be expected. Here's Emmanuel Petit. Petit gets into the space. I'm not enjoying this this like framey game here, guys. Right, Ronaldo's away. It's going to be played through to him. He's got the pace. He's got the speed. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's in the back of the net. Leno got arms to it, but Ronaldo is too good. And I'm telling you, the difference between Ronaldo and Bale was captured in that kind of three or four minutes right there. Gareth Bale at the far post. Easy chance and just taps it with his right foot instead of stabs it with his left foot. Cristiano, 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 Cristiano Ronaldo goes clean through on goal. And with that, oh, my, my dude here has got some uh, some abilities, man. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo goes through on goal, slots that one home. Keeper did get a, a glove on it. Emmanuel Petit's just got that guy right there. Let's go, Del Piero. Del Piero's away. Alessandro, Del Piero, let's go. Let's, let's put him in on that. No, maybe not. We've got it in. It's going to go to Effenberg. I've ruined that. That was a good opportunity. And again, guys, the the vi the video quality isn't bad. The editing didn't go wrong or anything like that. This this game is just really. It's it's like it's missing a frame. Every, like literally, like it's missing a frame every frame. Um, so uh, I apologise for that. But that this is on EA's end. Interestingly. I actually started a game before I came into this game and it froze on the screen where you look at each other's teams. I, I was going to put it in the video, but I'm not. Oh, that's great ball through to Bale there. I should have done the driven one, shouldn't I? The driven through ball. Um, yeah, and, and the, the game ended up freezing and uh, I had to come out. So I lost a, a contract on my Del Piero without actually playing with him, which was uh, quite disappointing. 
We've got Del Piero in here. He's got Gareth Bale through. I've got to start using either the chip through. Oh, this is making me feel sick looking at this. Um, I've got to start using either the chip through ball or, that's a lovely play from Effenberg, or the driven through ball because they would be effective. I've got in behind a couple of times and I've let myself down by not put, look at Bell, look at Bell. Yeah, I've let myself down by not doing something as effective as that, I guess. Let's hit him with a stop and turn. That's beautiful from Bale. Bale steps on the outside, finds Petit. Petit into Effenberg. Effenberg, Sanchez. Sanchez into Ronaldo. Ronaldo loses out, and he's going to run away with that as well. Uh, Ronaldo's tracking back, though. Look at him go. Look at him go. Cristiano Ronaldo back in defence. Beautiful stuff. And he does... He, he bumps the player. Oh, my God. My own players are tackling each other. He's player run away from that. I hate it when it does that. It does that to me all the time. He wanted to get the ball there and keep it in play and just run on with it. And the game decided that he wasn't going to. Oh, this guy is he's quite tricky. This is the first actual attack he's had. Should be Alaba's ball at the far post. I've given it straight to him. That's a great save. And he's got a rebound. Embolo puts that in the back of the net. I like that. That's really poor defending from me, but also really unlucky. In the first place for him to get the throw in, my ta players tackling each other. Ball goes to the far post. That's literally his first attack, first time in my box, and uh, and he's, he manages to pick up a goal from it. Is Gareth Bell? Oh, that's a really good tackle. I'm really, I don't know what it is with Gareth Bell right now. I'm, I'm, I've got to figure out how best to use him because it's not working out for me, really, is it? And uh, now that this guy's back in the game, the last thing I want to do is give him any kind of indication that he can actually get back into the game. Oh God, I've given it away with Boateng there. Oh, that's a really nice ball as well. Sterling, good shot, big save from Neuer. I am, it's the the game's not laggy in the sense of it's not like I'm, I'm not feeling any like button lag. <sighs> and he's dabbing on me as well because I dabbed on him. I think that goes down as an own goal. Nope. Jonathan Tarr scores to make it two one to my opponent. I was cruising. I was absolutely cruising against this guy. Could potentially have been two goals up. Could have been three goals up. And uh, it's, it's just not going my way, is it? It's not going my way. This, this is bad for me because this guy, one of my biggest problems has always been this so far in this FIFA, trying my best to score goals. I'm like, I'm struggling at times. Petit's through there. That's a great ball. Why is he not taking that on like the touch that I wanted him to? This guy's hitting me with fancy passes. Oh, that's a, that's a mistake. Del Piero, surely from here. Del Piero, he's put it wide. I actually positioned that onto his right foot. He's got a five-star weak foot, so I would have expected a little bit better from Del Piero there. For some reason, uh, he hasn't uh, he hasn't got what I've, I've wanted out of him there. Here we go with uh, David Alaba, though. You can see this guy is like running back with his midfield is exactly what I was doing. Here is Del Piero, though. Del Piero into Gareth Bale. Run for it, Bale. Why are you not running for that? That's embarrassing from Gareth Bale there. He should be all over that. Oh, this guy's this guy's decent in attack. Can't can't take anything away from him. He's he's, he's got tricks on the ball. He's shown uh, a couple of times with his fancy flicks and stuff that he's he's got you know a bit of trickery on the ball. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get back into this game. If I lose with this team, I will be a little bit salty. Not that team is everything. We've, you know, we've we've established that many times, right? Alaba is in here. Surely this is going to. Oh my god! Oh my god! Pen ref, ref. That's good defending from Ferdinand. I can't believe that didn't go to the guy in the top of the box there. Del Piero into Bell. That's a foul, ref. I'm, I'm actually, I'm genuinely close to throwing up. This is hurting my eyes. It's making me feel sick looking at the screen like this. Oh God, not with Deli Ali. Oh God, I've given it to him, haven't I? Oh no, it's Ruben Bolo. Oh, he's put it over. Thank God for that. That should have been 3-1. Oh my God. I'm, like, I'm, I'm close to throwing up, guys. It's unbelievable. Go on, Bale. Get ahead on that. There we no, ref, you can't blow half time there. Right, half time, guys. 2-1 down. I'm disappointed that I'm 2-1 down, no question about it. He's, I think he's only had three shots now with that Mbolo shot. I've had a few chances where I should have been doing better. Um, but I've, I've conceded from the only two things you seem to concede from in FIFA this year. A corner and a rebound. He's had six shots. What? When? He's, he's actually looks like, on, on base of stats, he looks like he's playing a really good game. 91% pass accuracy, 51% possession. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, sort my sort my sort myself out into this second half because he is looking like 
He is playing fantastically well. Now let's try and break through here with Gareth Bale. And again, I've, I can't. I've, for some reason, my my like my passes, I guess, not passes really, but I'm getting to a point where I would normally pass the ball, and it's just it's not working for me. Oh, this guy and his fancy tricks and flicks. That's a good ball in as well. That's well out from Alaba. Let's go, Ronaldo. Ah, I should have run with it. Ross Barkley. There we go. Sam. Oh, come on. Game. That's such a simple pass into Petit there. This guy's starting to pick me apart here. I can feel it. That's a good interception from Bellerin. Petit's got the space. Bellerin's got the pace. No catching him here. Let's whip that ball into the far post. Taking a deflection. Is that is I'm going to get this Del Piero? No, no touch, no chance. Renato Sanchez picks up the loose ball into Del Piero. Surely a foul there though. That's lovely. Del Piero. He's going to cut that across the goal. The finish of dreams. I had the cut back on. I noticed it too late. Ronaldo was stood on the penalty spot waiting for a cutback. Del Piero takes the shot and scores the goal to get me back in the game. And I'm having to work hard for this. And that is a stunning finish. Fair play. That has crept straight into the bottom corner. And we have got goals with Del Piero and Cristiano Ronaldo. And once again, Gareth Bale is the guy that is letting me down here. I mean, you can push me like that if you want, dude. I don't mind. I'm, I'm, I'm all over that. Oh, my God. Effenberg, that is huge. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Don't let him get that scoop turn. Oh, I knew it was coming as well. I could see it a mile off. Big save from Neuer. Big save. From, I'm, I'm, I'm about to throw up, honestly. This game is making me sick. If he, this guy scores from another corner, I'll be pissed. Especially because I've got like Neuer in there. We've got a good break on here. Ball up to Ronaldo. Ronaldo can't control it, stupidly. But Guerrero can. Love that. That's a lovely ball in. That is good defending from Bellerin, and that's why Bellerin is in this team. He's just, he seems to do really good work. Renato Sanchez beats Renato Sanchez there. And then loses out. That's poor. That is not poor. That's why I've got him in the team, though. Right there, he's actually solid. Let's play it. Let's play the ball. Let's play the ball. Here we go. Here we go. Hector Bellerin down the wing. There's good progress with this attack. Yes, Hector Bellerin's done him there. We're into the box. Evaded the tackle. Keepers out. Del Piero. I've hit the post from an open goal. You've got to be joking, man. Oh, no. And now he's got a three-on-one counter. Oh, he's going to score here. Oh, Neuer, what a save. What a save. What a game this has been. Back and forth, guys. Lots of action in this game. Sometimes I play these games and we don't get any action. Here's Gareth Bale. He's got Rudiger. Rudiger's like dead out on energy as well. Gareth Bale should be away here. No way on earth should Rudiger be catching Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale is going to be having 99 pace and he's going to be having absolutely none of Rudiger. And that's a great tackle and a corner. And I'll take a corner right here. My, I, everyone seems to be able to score corners against me so easily. I, for some reason, can't really score them. And there's Gareth Bale. And that's, again, really poor. I headed it on from Ronaldo. Tried to tap it in with Bale. Del Piero is going to win that, surely. Here's Boateng. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo across the keeper. Del Piero is going to get the loose ball. Let's whip this one in. Crosses it in. Bale. Surely Bale. Oh, Bale's let me down. Bale. 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 Bale's letting me down, guys. There's no two ways about it. Gareth Bale has been... Abysmal this game. Absolutely abysmal. There's Ronaldo down the wing though. That's a great ball. Oh my god, what an interception from Rudiger. Bellerin back on it. Lovely play. Del Piero. He's got Bale through. Here is Gareth Bale. I aimed that to the far post and it's gone to the near post. That's embarrassing. Oh my days. Oh my day. Win that. Lovely. Ronaldo, Bale. Here's Bale. Surely. Oh, what a tackle. That is a great tackle. Fair play. Oh, Del Piero's done him. Del Piero's got Petit. Petit on his deck. What is. Why am I not getting power on these shots? This is crazy. I'm putting power on them. Oh, that was that was just poor. He was, he was stood there waiting for me to do that, and I still did it. Oh, if I concede late, I'll be so upset. 
right from the beginning. We've never yeah, I read that. Lovely. Go, Alaba's amazing. Alaba right is amazing. Last. Gareth Bale's letting me down again. Now the uh, hello? Effenberg, what are you doing? Switch on the attacking power in this situation. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Bell oh Bellerin. Down. Bellerin and Alaba have been huge for me here today. Go on, Petit. Don't, don't stab him. Don't stab him. When I say stab him, I mean... Oh, my God. He's hit the bar. Oh, that's, thank God for that. Woo! This game. This game, guys. This game is testing. All right, let's go, Bellerin. Here's Bellerin. Five minutes left of the 90. Still level. Nice. Okay, I take the throw in there. Five minutes to go, guys. Five minutes to go. We've got to throw. Let's give it out to Petit. Back into Bellerin. He's got a man on the inside. Gareth Bale into Del Piero. Del Piero. Oh, try to shoot. Del Piero again. Can he win it? Oh, my God. What a finish. Alessandro Del Piero with the goal of dreams. The rocket. The pace. What a shot. I tried to get the finesse shot off and he tackled me. Right here, try and go for a finesse and he bumps me. I pick the ball back up again, turn into the space and he slams that one home and it hits the back of the net and we're 3-2 up and I tell you what, we should be 3-2 up. Not because I think we've had the chances, but because of the team we've got. Oh, don't concede. Don't, oh, wow, he's hit me with the, uh, hit me with the, uh, the old shielding. Here we go, boys. Can we get another one? Gareth Bell, Effenberg into Ronaldo. Ronaldo hits him with a stop and turn. Cristiano Ronaldo, surely. Pen ref! Yes! And that is good night, guys. This guy is very mad right now. We're 3-2 up. He's got a red card with his defender. Is it Jonathan Tarr who scored the goal for him earlier on? And he's rage quit. He doesn't even let me take the penalty, guys. And he can be, he can be angry at that game because he had a couple of chances that he should have scored. And he played a really good game. I've got to give him credit. Considering my team compared to his team, he was fantastic. I'm not saying he didn't deserve to be in that game. He absolutely did deserve to be in that game. For me, Del Piero with a couple of banging goals. And the assist for Ronaldo's goal. Gareth Bale and Renato Sanchez, Sanchez with a couple of goals. Um, I want to take a look, look at the shots on target. Ronaldo Petit done good. Gareth Bale one out of three passes. Now, Del Piero's dominant. Look at that midfield. Look at that midfield. 12 out of 14, 13 out of 13, and 13 out of 13. Amazing. Gareth Bell, only the 4 out of 10 dribble. Del, P Del Piero looks like he just run the show. He looks like he absolutely run the show. Tackles Bella in 4 out of 9. 6 saves for Neuer, 5 saves for Leno. We're going to take a look at the match stats. And uh, like I say, he, he can be a little bit upset that he was going to be 4-2 down and a man down there. And look at where the shots were from, from both of us. He had 10 shots, 6 on target, all inside my box. I had 11 shots, 6 on target, all inside his box. Could have gone either way. The guy is a great player. He will undoubtedly be a D1 winner in the future of FIFA 17. But on today's occasion, I managed to come out on top. Take a look at the match highlights again. The first goal came from Ronaldo. Clean, clean ball through from Del Piero. Beats the defender for pace. His keeper does get a, a hand to it, but Ronaldo still puts it in the back of the net. He then scored two goals. One with Mbolo. Good crossover. Should have cleared that. Shot, saved, rebound, goal. Rebound goals are a common feature in FIFA 17. Next goal he scores five minutes later. Corner comes in. Headers. Goal. That's literally, that is the two goals. That style of goal, rebounds and corners are about 95% of the goals I concede. They really are. We then tied things up in the 55th minute with Del Piero. Gareth Bell gets tackled on the edge of the box. It falls to Del Piero. That is a lovely finish. Just inside the box. I could have played it to Ronaldo. And then the winning goal in the 86th minute. Alessandro Del Piero gets bumped by Renato Sanchez. Recovers the ball. Slams that one to the top bins. Keeper had no chance. That guy is going to be the end of the game end of the video if you did enjoy this be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace